I seem to remember it was either one of the Bob's mods or whatever it was. But, um, I remember there was like a class system. Uh, <laughs> let me reword, reword that one. There was an in-game class system that changed your stats. Okay, that, that was a little bit less dicey. Uh, so yeah, in-game class system that changed your stats and it changed the color of your, uh, your, your helmet. Oh, shit, that actually needs to go down there. That was very cool. Because you could be like, it was more for multiplayer. So you could be like a builder and then someone else could be a miner. Someone else could be like a fighter. And it'd give you different stats like you'd be um, well, stronger, all those things. And it's a very, very, very cool little system. Completely unnecessary for single player. Um, so if you don't have friends, like myself. But if you don't have plans, fr friends that play Factorio. It's the cope. I do have friends that just don't play Factorio. They go to a different game. There we go. It's going to take like 40 minutes for the copper to get down here, but it should be fine. Alright, we're going to place the final assemblers. Completely unnecessary. Completely. Especially since we're not researching anything, but aesthetically, it's stressing me out, so I'm going to do it. This will slightly increase our power consumption, speaking of which, that is rocketing up. Now, of course, it's impossible or very difficult to get them and to get so you know you've got more on one side than the other. So, what we're going to do, uh, we are going to have to do a second band of them and then we're just going to do a uh, balancer, which I believe I should have some blueprints for. Again, from Captain of Sky, mentioned earlier, but she's amazing. Great, great uh, Factorio content creator. She really knows the shit. Much better than I do. <laughs> Which, to be fair, not too much of a challenge. Um, so, we're going to need one of those. I mean, it's a, a, like a two to one balance is easy, but um, this is her blueprint book. So, if we go to uh, belts and balancers and we go belt, balance, yellow, she's got one to eight. Look at that. And then, you know, all the way down to eight to eight, or if you're balancing eight down to one, or eight to two, or eight to three, it's... And they are, as far as I'm aware, perfect, like perfect ratio working. Look at that, beautiful. Gotta can, can how to contain it. It should actually be fine once it balances out. Uh, I get the feeling this is going to yeah, push our power to the max, which is just fine. Um, how many ended we've got? got? Enough for one more, so I've added about three more, so we're going to need another boiler. And again, this will increase our pollution, increase chances that we get attacked, but... We're just going to have to try. It is good being surrounded by these trees. There's a reason I'm not getting rid of them, um, you know, with grenades as fast as possible. They eat pollution, which means they lower our chance of being attacked. So that can never be a bad thing. Like immediately, we're just so much better. Oh, shit, too close. <laughs> Would you believe I have the perfect amount of pipes needed? There we go. Now we have plenty of headroom. Should be fine, although just to give myself some peace of mind, I'll probably add a couple more coal drills yet. So as, as soon as we've added those, it's uh it's gone up a tiny bit. Look at that, that should, uh, it should sort itself out. I think it's just it was backed up. It's gonna take a sec, but as long as all these are getting fed, which it looks like they steadily are, as I said, it will take a moment to kind of calibrate itself. 
we don't need to massively worry about this because we have the buffers on and they can only have 200. So once it actually does get clogged up, which, excuse me, oh my God, it's going to throw up in my mouth. Uh, I have no doubt that they will. It won't be a problem because it'll, they'll just stop producing after a little while and that's fine. God, I've only made 18. It's about there on max. That's not bad. And it's full on both sides. We have 270 walls actually, so we can go and place a few of those uh, because it'll fill up. So the next place to build walls is up here. The only problem with building walls without turret defenses is um, they're very easily destroyed. So you just end up having to replace them, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Resources are technically infinite in this game because you can keep finding them and keep exploring, but uh, it's still not good to waste them. It's not good to waste anything, you know. Save the planet. Don't waste resources in Factoro. Boom. Uh, speak to which. I'll not speak to which. Should probably pop that into there. And like, how does she make folders? Oh, it's another book. Oh, she's fucking huge brain. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to get belts. And I should have plenty of inserts. I mean, I only have 23 turrets, so that's fine. The Twitch was doing some awful changes, by the way. If you like, if you're a proper, if you're a proper, well, they affect everyone. But if you know, if you're a proper streamer, it obviously affects you more. I just kind of come on here very occasionally to do things like this. <laughs> like, you can't... If you've got, like, sponsors and stuff, you can't properly... show them on screen from on, like, 3% of something, which is pretty bad. Other screws over eSports change as well, yeah. I think the only per people that they benefit... And this is just, you know, classic company stuff, especially as Twitch is owned by Amazon. Uh, the only person it benefits is Twitch. And even then, it doesn't really, because it's just going to cause all their creators to just fuck off. And I can't say I blame them. But honestly, it's hilarious. If you were if you watching your Charlie's videos, <laughs> he does say it's like, it's miraculous how often Twitch does like awful changes. Oh, wow, look at that. That's satisfying. Like, they just do them, like, weekly. Just do a cataclysmically bad change and then backpedal on it. And be like, oh, yeah, we're just joking, guys. We're just joshing around. It's embarrassing for a... <sighs> such a relatively successful company to be this inept. Then again. You know. <laughs> name, name an extremely successful company that isn't inept. Uh, Colonel Dam is incorporated. We're very professional at everything that we do. Right. I can actually place a few more of these old Toretto's than I thought. Um, I'm going to leave a gap there. I'm going to get as close to the water as I can. Just so I'm not in the way of anything else. Just because it makes it a bit easier to grab them. For some reason, when they're going around bends, I think it's because, like, when they go around bends, especially if they're on the outside, they just, like, flick around really fast. And the inserts sometimes are a bit of a tough time. Grabbing hold of them, the poor babies. It's being led by finance and business partners rather than operation. I mean, you're so right. You look at, well, the last Total War DLC. Way too expensive. Pissed off literally everyone. I'm sure that, you know, everyone that was working basically everywhere that you know, makes the game or produces it, develops it, writes it, whatever, was like, this is going to fucking piss off everyone. And uh, sure enough, it did. Because decisions are made by dickheads in suits who only care about a bottom line. They don't care about how the company is perceived, how, you know, how happy the people are on Reddit. Like being called, how, how their devs are going to be called slurs on Twitter because they were involved with it. 
even though they had no choice. They just care about one thing, and that is the bottom line. And it's not because Stone Cold said so, it's because capitalism said so. And as we all know on this channel, folks, capitalism bad. That's just that's just facts. I wonder if any of the six people here will complain about that. Every single time I mention like capitalism bad in any of my videos, I get like there's always some person that's like, oh, you say capitalism bad and you you like use products made by capitalism. It's like <laughs> I realize I, I I like I don't have a choice. <laughs> like if you want to do anything in the world, you have to use the shit that capitalism gives you because that's, that's all there is. The world fucking runs on it at the moment. And everyone makes it, oh yeah, well, if the world runs on it, it must be good. No, no. The world runs on it, we have no choice. Anywho. Don't really care about unrestricted capitalism and shit. Exactly. Like, I'm sure that, like, there is a there is a point in the middle where it's alright. You know, where it's not the pursuit of infinite growth and wealth. And it's just like, you know, the, the idea of it, the romantic idea of capitalism, don't get me wrong, is, it sounds good. But in practice, it's, it's just not, it's like six people own all the wealth and then like the remaining everyone has to fight over the rest while the rich people at the top are like oh you look at look at that guy to, to your left yeah he's the one that's hoarding all the money and stopping you from getting rich not me with my gajillion dollars and my emerald mine and my companies that i buy when they are successful and then pretend that it's my fault that they're successful i'm not talking about anyone in particular folks i promise this is just a pure hypothetical situation anyway and yeah, it sounds good, but it really makes the richest richer. Uh, I know, I think there is a... I think... I'm not sure about that one. I think the, the, the best thing probably lies somewhere, as, as with all things. Oh yeah, of course, you, you've got to blame the minorities for all the world's problems. Because then it's not your fault, it's someone else's. It's easy to be angry at a group. Oh shit, I need to build more drills, don't I? Whoopsie. Yeah, as with most things, the right answer lies somewhere in the middle of everything. A lot of people just hit like socialism, just shit their pants. Thinking that the government's going to take all their money and give it to like literally anyone that asks. I got great. I don't mind talking about this because uh, I think I talked about this last week actually. But some guy messaged me like, do you want to work uh, on this crypto game? It, like runs on NFTs and stuff. And I was like, I fucking hate crypto. No. <laughs> like my, my message was literally, this looks like it's something to do with crypto. Is it? And then basically like danced around the question saying like, yes, but oh, it's our new hot, fresh take on crypto. And I was just like, no, fuck off. And then he like tried to, he said, oh, I'm not, I'm not like going to try and convince you otherwise. Well, why don't you want to do it? And I just like said, like, uh, crypto is just dodgy as shit. And he just tried to justify it. So, and like talk me out of it. And I thought, well, just fuck off. <laughs> anyway. Endless greed, of course. Of course. I mean, humans ruin everything, really. If you got rid of all of us, the world would definitely be a better place. Not for humans, obviously, because you know we won't be here, but for everything else. Cream. I think as ideal, as a, not ideal, but like as romantic as the idea of uh, like a whole world unification would be, or is, it just ain't, it's not going to happen in our lives. Not a chance. Especially not with the, the current global situation. Um, well, I just ate a load of my coal buffer. Hopefully it refills itself. How am I doing up here? Is it? I oh, know it's not actually starting to restock. I could probably do it with maybe a couple more miners. It is nice to dream. It's utopia. Every time I I start a game of Stellaris that has prosperous unification, I I cry a single tear. But I know that it will never happen. Uh, right, I can only place like two more turrets, so actually I need more belts. Let's go grab some. God, they fill up so fast, it's so nice. Just getting something like that that automatically makes you like belts. 
automatically makes range. When we get the mole sword, that is like oh, big fucking nut when you get the mole sword. Because it just it all your woes in life will be cured by the mole. Like <laughs> damn it. It all comes back. But no. The uh, just having everything made for you so you don't have to like fight around manually crafting it is just so nice. It's an algorithm socialism, I swear. Oh, somebody stopped me. Can we stop? Cannot stop. Won't stop. Uh, I think, as, as much as I said I want to keep the trees... Oh shit, I'm going to have to get rid of a few. Because they are very much in the way. Imagine if this is how we just got rid of trees in the real world. Glad we have these lovely distractions from the real world. Yes, of course. I'm here to provide you with an escape from the real world by talking about extremely... Intensely real situations that, to be honest, I'm very much not qualified to talk about, but uh, that's what that's what the internet's for. You talk about stuff that you are not remotely qualified to talk about, like you have all the authority in the world. Oh god, I bet someone someone has to have, like, manually crafted literally everything that you can to get into the rocket end. Whoever that is, I, I hope they're doing okay, because my god, that sounds so boring. Yeah, the mall, I mean, I'm not... Uh, I just like them all for like crafting stuff, like belts, stuff that you use all the time, like belts, furnaces, railway tracks, turrets, walls. Like I've done mini little bits. Not it's not a mall by any means, but it's providing me with the resources that I need for these different parts. Oh, that's why I'm not building up a uh, thing. So I've got that going. Uh, but that being said, I do definitely need some drills. Cause these ones at the top don't have loads. Mall. <laughs> It's the, it's the great maw from, from Warhammer. The ogres are going to turn up. Oh, God. Oops. Wrong button. I need, a, I need some water. Oh. That's good. It's not as cold as I'd like it to be, but... Good enough. On oh. I love ugh, there ain't no, nothing better on a hot day than like water that is so cold that it makes your teeth feel like they're gonna fucking crack that is how cold I need my water to be and I just chug it and feel my throat like freezing over ugh like I'm deep throwing an ice man <laughs> oh god I wish I was <laughs> anyway sorry horrifically distracted then I can fix this corner while I'm waiting for stuff. Uh, so how do I want to do that? I reckon... Hot. It is. It is hot. You're right. Hello there. Who's that? Who followed? Oh, can I help you? Thank you very much for following, man. I do appreciate that. Uh, I don't stream massively regularly, but uh, when I do, you'll help out, I'm sure. Um... Yes, that corner's fixed, and I believe that goes more or less a straight line into the bottom. There are cliffs in the way, but that's fine. Do, 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 do. Hopefully our coal operation. What was that? It's a little bit better. Did just mute myself. I did a fat belch. I didn't want that exploding in your ears as much as I would love to hit reverb on it. Yeah, extra. Probably check on how my window is doing if it's still dripping. Oh, Just over here in a moment. Yep, still dripping. Not ideal. What I can do about it? My handyman, by that I mean my father, is out of out of town at the moment, so I don't know. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about because my roof just collapses and crushes me. But what one enter stream that would be? Can you imagine? Just gosh. You just see like a massive piece of roof just followed by a torrent of water. Splash up against my electrics and the stream just cuts off. God, that'd be a great bit. Right, if I was good at VFX, that's what I'd do. Unfortunately, I'm not going to anything, so I'm not going to prank stream ending. Absolutely. I need to get some fast inserts on the go. Sure would be nice. I believe that's in electronics. And then, yeah, fast insert right there. 
Let's keep some research. Now if it happens, I'm going to think of it a bit. Right. I, need, I need to let enough time pass that you're not going to know. <laughs> I could make more labs to increase the research speed, but I don't particularly want to because I, I just don't want to make too much per, 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 per pollution right now and get myself attacked. Like, it has spread, but it's not a horrific amount. Like, it's spread within our, our vision. And I could make one of these, and these things do tend to be large targets for the old, uh, the old biters, I believe the aliens are actually called. But they will slowly reveal the map for us, which is really useful. Especially later on, because as this iron patch eventually runs out, uh, we would like to discover some new ones. So just place that, say, there. They consume a shitload of electricity as well. 300 kilowatts just for that. For reference, um, yeah, all of our inserts are using all, like almost like a little bit more of that. I mean, yeah, it's a really small amount of pollution, but I'm just scared. There's trees you've got in. I know, I'm, I've got a pretty decent spawn here. Like, trees up here, like a massive band. Trees down there. Trees there. I'm surrounded by trees. It's a pretty decent spawn, this. It's a bit of a pain in the ass having to get rid of them in the early game when I had no grenades. But, uh, boy, am I glad they're here now. Yeah, my, look, my call's perfect. It's, Jesus Christ, what's going on? <laughs> He's backed up wonderfully. Um, I could try and... Like, start at the beginning of the mall. The mall, sorry. Now, let me just double check. Oh my god. Uh, by the way, all those, like, the green and orange things, if you're unaware, they are drone pods. So, we're definitely not going to be able to build those uh, yet. But you don't have to build everything in this all at once. That's fine. I just want to check if this. I believe it's the same as this. Yeah, it is. It's literally just the same, but with an addition. That's fine. God, can I cancel all those deconstruct orders? I think you can. Yeah, you just hold shift. Wonderful news. Uh, so where... So actually, <laughs> thinking about it, it's like, oh, well, where shall I place this mall? Well, it's going to need to go somewhere with a space here, which is going to be outside my fucking walls. I don't know why I've made this space so large. I suppose I can make it into, like, a big smelting area and then run down my iron and stuff down here, eventually. Honestly, I would have been better off doing a larger expansion to the south. God, I'm stuck in the, I'm stuck in the trees! There we go. I suppose I can run the belt all the way around while I'm waiting for stuff to happen. And as much as I said that uh, I love all these trees being here, I do need to get rid of a few of them. You need at least two belts of inputs to sustain that mall. I mean, like I said, when I was building the turret thing, I'm not super bothered about having max efficiency on the mall. Like, as long as it is making me shit that I need. I'm honestly not that bothered at the moment. There we go. Oh my god, that was the perfect amount of grenades. Louis, it was the perfect amount. Where's he gone? <laughs> I walked in, so I was talking to myself. I was like, fucking, fucking weirdo. I'm out of here. What does electronics even do? Fast inserts. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to need more belts. Fuck. <laughs> I'm also going to need more iron to make some underground stuff. Come on. Let's go get more belts. That being said, once... <laughs> I've been said if I do all these belts now, it just makes them a very easy target for uh, buyers. I should be okay. My good folks, it's Louis. And let me let me see if I can see my game on screen. Oh, he's in his bed. It's gonna be a rough one. There he is. I think I can zoom. Oh wait, that's the wrong. That's the wrong zoom. Oh, let's zoom into my chin. 
Pushing up against my other monitor. Come on, focus. There he is. Slow the dog. Wonderful. Anyway. Look. Let me return it to my. Uh... <laughs> okay, I like this angle. Oh god, that really fucking. Hurt. Oh, I just funny boned on the top of my wall ball. Oh. I was trying to do a bit where it's just really zoomed in. Hi. How do you like this angle? Oh, that really hurt. Oh, it's 35 mil. I mean, I'm, I'm technically using the wrong lens. I shouldn't be using the zoom because it's really ridiculously heavy. Oh, that really fucking hurt. Oh. Better appreciate that for my dog. Oh my god. It's agonizing. You call connecting with a content creator? I don't know. What, laughing to yourself as I fracture my elbow on a water bottle? Oh, I don't know how I didn't knock it over. I like hit it. It's open as well. This bitch is open. I like got myself on the rim. I don't know how I didn't like just knock it all over the floor and absolutely wet myself. But um, yeah, ow. <laughs> Actually, I could probably do with bring more iron. God damn it. Okay, if I have like 10, enough for 10 of uh, each of those, I should be fine. I'm just going to need a few underground to get around the cliffs until I have a cliff explosives thinking about it. You, I so you could search technology. Oh, you can. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, I suppose it's because you need proper explosives and proper explosives need sulfur. And sulfur needs oil, I think. It's derived from something in the oil. I can't remember which. So I'm going to need to do all underground work under the... Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm going to have to do a bit of a... Oh, this is going to be a bit of a farce. I think I should be able to get through that. There we go. Lovely staff. Really believe in a gap. In this case, I have to remove them. Right, there we go. Now I can follow this. Water pretty much the entire way back. 